Hi there. Thank you for joining me today. We're in Psalm 25. Today we'll look at verses 6 and 7. It is a psalm that deals with how we are to respond and act to God when we sin, when we rebel against God. And so we'll get in in just a second here, but first and probably the most important thing we can ever do is pray. So let's pray. Father, speak. Today, we thank you and we love you. We pray, God, that you would be powerful in us, in our weakness, which is always. We pray that you'd be glorified, O oh God, by our words and our deeds today. And that is not something that we can do on our own. We do by the, the new creation that we are in Christ and by the, the work of the Holy Spirit in us. And so we pray, Lord, that you would be that God in us, be do that work in us. And do it, Lord, for your benefit, for your joy, for your praise. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 25, verses 6 and 7. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me. For the sake of your goodness, O oh Lord, remember. Now, we know some people, perhaps you have someone in your own household that has a steel trap for a memory. They remember what people were wearing at a particular event. They remember everything that you ever said when they might come to you and say, well, you promised and they remember. And, and that's a huge gift, but it's also not always a blessing because they can call us out, right? They can, they can point out things that, that we've done that we have long forgotten or have wanted to long forget. David here is saying, Lord, remember. Remember here is not to, to just dredge up the past again, to wallop us again. Remember is to call to mind so that God would act in a particular way. In particular here, especially, he says in verse 6, remember your mercy. He talks about remembering your steadfast love. He's saying, God, you have vowed to be a God who forgives through the means of sacrifice and ultimately through the sacrifice of the Savior, Jesus Christ. And smushed right in the middle of verse 6, remember your mercy and steadfast love. And again, he says, remember, Lord, your steadfast love and all of this for your goodness. Right smushed there at the beginning of verse 7. Do you see that? It says, remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. He's not saying, God, forget. He's saying, God, deal with. Don't hold me accountable any longer to the guilt of the things that I have done in the past, that I have asked for forgiveness for, that I've repented of, and don't hold me guilty to the things that I'm doing right now, God, that I seek your pardon and your mercy. So he's saying, God, don't remember in a way that holds me guilty, but remember, O oh Lord, your steadfast love and your mercy, your goodness. And David is is not trying to get God to to do something that that on his own God doesn't do. God is a God of mercy. God is a God of grace as well as a God of holiness and righteousness and absolute holy moral perfection. But ultimately, this is a prophecy ultimately fulfilled in Christ whereby we ask God to remember us in Christ that we are clothed by faith because of God's grace in Christ. We're covered in the righteousness of Christ. And so God doesn't see us in faith. When we have a relationship with God by faith in Jesus Christ, God doesn't see us just as ourselves. God doesn't just see Steve, but he sees Steve through the perfection of Christ. David is saying, remember, Lord, remember your steadfast love your amazing and abundant mercy, your goodness, O oh God. Remember, remember so that you could act and work toward me in a way that is reflective of your goodness and your kindness. 
we have one great choice to be accepted by God and thereby seen by God in Christ or on our own. And as we are on our own apart from Christ, we bear the guilt and the consequences of our rebellion. But in Christ, in Christ alone, we will benefit and be blessed by the steadfast love of God, the unending love of God, and the amazing mercy and grace of God. Call upon Jesus that you would be those clothed and covered in Christ. I'll see you again tomorrow.